Hold on. Dehumidifier off. Where's a hat? So something that was kind of blowing up a few months ago was the Steam Deck. You saw it on YouTube, you saw it on Valve, because half of us use Steam to get games. Like, I've never seen anybody install Among Us on GOG. If you do, you're like a criminal, actually. But the Steam Deck was a big deal, because it's the Switch killer. And everybody was super hyped about it. Including... Myself. I wouldn't have a video if I wasn't. So now I have one. And... Let me just say, it is the ideal way to play half the games on Steam. Games like Elden Ring, A uh, Binding of Isaac, Garfield Kart Racing, half these ga- <laughs> I don't know how that- I don't know how that got there, it's- A lot of games are very compatible with the Steam Deck. However, something that really- Really, really sucked. Something that I just hated was the pricing. It's reasonable. 400 bucks, I, yeah, that is something I would pay and something I did pay for the Steam Deck. But the upgrades are questionably overpriced. In my opinion, in my opinion, the storage in my model is EMMC, which is flash storage. It's kind of basic technology. Instead of like a hard drive, it is like a digital storage. It was one of the earlier versions of such. And of course, it's gonna be cheaper. It was 64 gigs. I was like, yep, that's, that's pretty good. I'll take it, thank you. And I was happy because I was like, oh, I can just get a micro SD. And the freaking the freaking computer guys in the comments are like, oh, oh, but, but, uh, uh, the microSD doesn't have the transfer rate. Shut up. I don't care. I don't need my games loading in one like mega fart per terra. Sh you know, I don't need that. Literally, I load up Binding of Isaac. It takes 20 seconds, maybe, to get to the boot screen. Maybe 15, I'd have to count it. And I'm fine with that. 400 bucks was something that I was willing to pay for that. But the upgrade switches to a faster SSD for 256 gigs. You know, you know what the upgrade is? You know what the upgrade is? $130, not including taxes, for the upgrade to a faster storage device. I don't know if that's reasonable, if you guys are willing to pay that, that's half of how much I earned in a summer. I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not willing to pay that much. I'm really not willing to pay that much for maybe uh, going from 15 second boot to 10 second boot. I can wait five seconds. I have patience. And that's only, that's only 256 gigs. I have a micro SD that was 512 gigabytes. You know how much that was to buy? 20 bucks, 20 bucks. I upgraded from having 64 gigs to 576 gigabytes. I think that's the math. And then the the premium, oh, just mwah, just the, the, the beautiful exclusive Steam Deck gets premium anti-glare etched glass, exclusive carrying case, exclusive Steam Community Profile Bundle, and exclusive virtual keyboard with faster storage. That is $250 more than what I paid. <laughs> I, I'm not bashing whoever gets it, but why? Why do you need it? You don't need it. That's my complaints with the tiers of Steam Deck that you want. If you want the bougie Steam Deck or do you want the budget Steam Deck? And there's not much difference in my opinion. It runs great. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. So the OS itself is a Linux based OS. If you don't know what Linux is, it's Windows, but you program it. Like it's open source. Literally everything you do on Linux, you can modify almost. Almost everything you do on Linux is modifiable. Uh, not as secure, maybe, some may argue, but it's a Steam Deck. What are they gonna hack? Your Steam passwords and credit card info? 
Somebody already has that, most likely. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to get to is the amount of custom customization, customability. The amount you can customize it is incredible. So what I got is the, I have basic Steam, right? Hold on. This is the Steam OS. I might be able to get video of it from somewhere else. I don't know how to screen record. Oh, the OS is really cool, but something that you didn't hear from me is that when you hit the Steam button and then you go down to power and then you go to switch the desktop, you can add as many games as you want. Games that don't come with Steam or are like indie games that you liked that you installed on itch.io, you can put them on the Steam Deck. And now you may be wondering, oh, what the compatibility issues? Ah! Shut up. So Linux, SteamOS Linux, has something, just like a small little store page, where if you go to the uh, Discover, it's called Discover, you just type in the Proton QTE, Pro Proton QTE right here, um, and what that program does, and something, a little quirky thing that that program does, is it literally looks up every form of Proton. The best way to describe it for people that don't do computer stuff is it's a converter that just takes window game, sets up a Windows environment, boots it to Linux, and then you get to play Windows games on your Linux system. That's what Proton is. And Steam doesn't come with all the Proton packs you need, so you download Proton up QT and you just install them. Literally, like, it may seem scary, but it's literally as easy as downloading Microsoft Word. And there's also solutions for GOG games and Epic games. God forbid you use either of those platforms, but if you go to the same Discover page, look up Heroic Launcher, you download it, it's open source. Um, it's literally made by somebody that is cool. Uh, you can set up Epic Games and GOG on your device and install any game from either of those platforms. I don't know, it's great. It, it's really good. Um, do I have complaints? Yeah. The only complaint that I really have is the sticks. Can you see it from the, can you see it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. See that little black gunk? That's the actual casing rubbing off on the stick itself. I Do I think that as a fundamental flaw that staggers the Steam Deck? N no. No, I do not. It does kind of ruin the experience a little bit. I wouldn't say it's, like, detrimental. It's not an OLED display, which I'm not too, compl like, I'm not complaining about. Like, literally, I don't think it needs it. It has a very beautiful display. Uh, very good, like, refresh rate. Refresh rate's amazing. Um, all the games, 60 FPS. Something that I have on this game, on this system is Elden Ring, and I have been playing it, but just, like, when you turn it on, the battery just goes... But overall, dude, if you guys have $400, and I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, um, if you guys have 400 bucks to spare, I really recommend um, the Steam Deck. I really do. It's one of the better consoles I have now. I might make this a two-part video. I have several stories in the process of getting the Steam Deck that I would, I would love to go into. Maybe I will, but... Um, for right now, I think the video is great. So, I'm going to leave you guys here. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and why not subscribe? It really helps out a lot. As always, I hope you enjoyed the show.